All right, my beautiful friends, how are you today? Aaron here bringing you Thursday horoscope for June the 18th. All right, we've got a big day ahead of us. There's a lot of preparation. Okay, we're in we're in absolute preparation mode right now for what's coming on the 21st, on the solstice, for the eclipse. Okay, so we've got the moon moving to the later degrees of Taurus. Okay, remember the moon is stable and emotionally uh, it's exalted in Taurus. It's a great place for it to be. It's a great place for our emotions to be because we're able to handle whatever's coming at us. And this is extremely important leading into what's coming up because... There's a sense of we're not ready for what's coming toward us, okay? So it's saying I need to be stable. I need to, to, to breathe. I need to be planted and grounded firmly in allowance of great change, right? It, it's like being strapped into the operation table, okay? We're strapped in here. We're not going anywhere. We're stable. We're not, you know, we got the moon exalted in Taurus, keeping us stable right now. Monks, great change. We've got the moon creating a trine over there to Pluto. The moon creating a trine over there to Jupiter. All right, both in the sign of Capricorn in the later degrees, for, uh, 24, 25 degrees. We still have Pluto creating a septile uh, down to the north node which is the highlight, of course, of the eclipses, the North Node, or the nodes in general. North Node specifically being the dragon's head of where humanity is going at this time in our lives. Where are we going? We are seeking information. We are seeking what's right. We are seeking what's wrong. We are leaving no stone unturned over the next year and a half as we rediscover humanity. That is, that is the goal <laughs> over the next year and a half. Is we're rediscovering humanity. We're rediscovering how we think. We're rediscovering how we think about religion. We're rediscovering how we think about education. We're rediscovering how we think about politics. We're rediscovering how we think about policies. We're rediscovering how we think about organizations and structures. Um, the government. How we govern ourselves. How we govern the community. Okay, all of this stuff is up for question, is up for change, is up for debate, taking votes, okay, we're under great, 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 great change. Again, we're leaving no stone unturned. It's like we have this Red Rover party and every hand in hand is joined together and we're sweeping across, you know, just millions of people sweeping across the globe here trying to figure out what's the best way to live life because how we're doing it right now is not sustainable. You know, and although there's, there's great things that have happened throughout time, you know, the, the changes in agriculture, there's changes in, in technology, but at the same time, as our species as a whole, we're understanding that what worked at a time is no longer working where we're going. We need to make changes in our agriculture. We need to make changes within, you know, uh, where we're spending money through technology or where we're spending our money. You know, we have. Um, unlimited funds for wars, but yet we still have poverty, we still have homelessness, we still have mouths to feed, okay? This has all got to change, right? So we have the moon stable in Taurus creating these trines over here to Pluto and to Jupiter saying like, we recognize in a, in a, in a composed manner that this is not where we're headed. And then we're going to have the moon jumping over into Gemini, okay? So... I've got it set for noon here for Thursday. Pushing forward. And now we get in this beautiful septile here. Okay. Septiles are always beautiful to me. To Chiron. Which is healing. Again, healing our minds. Healing healing our hearts. Healing ourselves. There's something about this is self. Again, our instincts. How we respond. How we react. Okay. Moving into Gemini here. This is the theme. What if I'm wrong? Okay, now the moon's been stable in Taurus over the past couple of days. Well, now we're in flighty Gemini. You know, no disrespect, but we know what this is. Okay, this is a million miles a second. You know, this is the speed of light. This is, okay, this is information superhighway Gemini here. And we are dealing with the AM radio where we don't know, you know, sometimes that the, the conversation gets garbled. Okay, sometimes the conversation uh, bleeds from one station to the next, and we can't make out the news feed that they're saying exactly. Things are up for question. Okay. Now, we have, this doesn't start until 1 a.m., uh, the retrograde, 1 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time. 
but that whatever that's close enough we get it mercury's retrograde <laughs> okay um uh, so it happens 1 a.m my time which would be what you know 11 a.m uh 10 a.m california whatever i'm what am i talking about anyway either way we get it so mercury retrograde venus retrograde moon coming into gemini we have all of this you know questioning information questioning authority questioning you know are the changes that we need to make in these concepts that have been going on for quite some time you know this is how school is this is how you know we can we can look at some teachers that you've seen stuff on the internet teachers flipping out on kids it's like wow who's teaching that teacher you know who's teaching our educational system we have religious leaders around the world that are doing absolutely terrible things we have political leaders that are doing absolutely terrible things and here in Sagittarius we think this is like the high road this is the highest knowledge in education and that we've done our due diligence to to find this truth in this path and we're we've come to find here that we still have to go back to the drawing board okay that's what this stellium here is going on in Gemini the moon our emotional needs Venus our loves our wants our desires our material possessions our connections with other people okay moon or the sun our, our, our self our ego we're shining our light saying like I don't mind going to the library right now okay I need to discover this for myself I take your word for it but I'm also willing to do my research and the north node again is 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 that guiding spirit intuition telling us to do this uh, with mercury being retrograde you know at the end of the day through the next three weeks um, it's important that we continue to remind ourselves, remind ourselves of this, you know, change healing about ourselves, again, about our instincts and how we're dealing with something, uh, a sense of stable change, okay? And new information is going to be coming to light over the next several weeks, okay? And it just, when we have anything in cancer, things go hidden, okay? That means I'd rather stay safe and not communicate, <sighs> than to open up and communicate and risk being a bullseye or a target for stoning <laughs> okay you know so it's really important that we don't pinch the hose during this retrograde because this energy we we have to flow we have to flow you know so this will be challenging over the next couple of weeks coming up to remind ourselves to communicate remind ourselves even if it's challenging to communicate some of these things to do it um, and the eclipse is going to highlight that like this is an eclipse of the heart okay we have the north node at 29 degrees of gemini we're going to have the moon and the sun new beginning zero degrees of cancer cancer is about our emotions and our feelings the sun's going to be lighting the way and the moon is going to be home in cancer this is a very very unique and special eclipse that's for us um, and it's very it's a total eclipse you know just a degree off it's very intense so it's like we're learning this new information over the next couple of days leading up to the solstice leading up to this eclipse so this is a big day and it's trying our hardest even though the energy is shifted of the stability of the Taurus moon <laughs> okay while we go through great changes moving ahead in, in the future if we can just remember Ah, uh, yes, this is how I was able to, to manage myself during this time, you know, these deep breaths and being well composed or whatever it may be, uh, and to try to handle ourselves with that uh, well-mannered, well-balanced composition uh, while we go into this, okay? And we need it. So open arms, great change coming in. It's, it's preparation. And it won't be until, um, we're going to start to feel it, but it won't be till Friday, really early Friday morning, uh, but I'll throw it out there right now, uh, that Venus and the moon are going to conjunct. Okay, so there is this a bit of extra feeling today on Thursday of like, this warm lovingness, you know, uh, as the moon and Venus start to make their conjunction, but it's not until exact till Friday morning. So either way, beautiful, beautiful energy, so much great changes coming our way. Uh, deepening our understanding and and again saying just because I feel it doesn't mean it's there and the only way to determine what is real and what is not real is by opening up the lines of communication and simply asking questions or simply sharing our feelings or sharing our thoughts about a subject it's gonna be very very important over the next couple of weeks my friends
So happy retrograding. <laughs> we'll see you tomorrow.